Well, welcome back. Hey, I found uh, some additional footage of my grandfather's trip to visit Hoover Dam in 1935. Here you see they're at the Lake Mead boat landing, just a short drive from Boulder City or Hoover Dam. It appears that they chartered a, uh, a boat here, they're called the Red Boats, for an overnight fishing trip. Um, the boats uh, look like they were more set up for just for like typical tourists uh, visiting the dam under construction or whatnot. But here's a photo I found of Lake Mead Boat Landing and you can see here the sign uh, It says Ride the Red Boats. Uh, I think the cabins are painted red. You'll see the name of the company is the Emery Line and I believe they were the first to operate power boats on the river. You can see uh, them uh, getting ready to take off here. They have camping gear on the top. Like I said, I think it's an overnight fishing trip. I'm not sure who the crew is and who the customers are there. I believe uh, the guy with the cigarette in his mouth is one of the crew. We'll see him cooking a little bit later in the program here. Now, in the morning, if you've been on the river, if you've uh, uh, been on Lake Mead, it typically is glassy in the morning and then it will, uh, the wind will pick up a little bit later. Now, my grandfather is great about getting all kinds of action shots. Here we, we see the wake of the boat. Uh, I think he was impressed with, uh, he's always impressed with a, a good boat. He grew up as a fisherman uh, on a lug-rigged uh, sailing vessel uh, back in the turn of the century in a little fishing village in St. Abbs. Now, here's where I think they went. They left the boat landing and ended up in the Virgin Basin of Lake Mead, the Virgin River empties out into that little leg there of the of the uh, lake. Again, still morning here, kind of glassy, and anyone who's been on the river knows that the wind picks up at some point. Uh, now I think they're again they're heading uh, towards the Virgin Basin. Uh, you'll notice the river gets wide; it narrows down, uh, twists and turns as it goes through here. But if someone knows where that is, there's a little recognizable thing right there on the the left-hand side of the screen, uh, let me know. Now, my brother Malcolm and I were really fortunate to be able to uh, travel down the length of the, the river in canoes. Uh, uh, pre we covered pretty much everything from Hoover Dam, Blackwater Canyon, all the way to Yuma, Arizona, as guests along with the Atkinson family, uh, the Russell family, and Dr. Muir and his family here in town, San Clemente. Um, I can't say how, how, how much we appreciate that opportunity. Here they are cruising up the river. You can see quite a little wake from the boat. In just a second here, you'll see a favorite pastime for boaters on the river. Uh, and there they are drinking their beer. Now remember, this was a height of the Depression and less than two years since Prohibition was repealed with the 21st Amendment. Uh, probably warm beer too, but what the heck, it was beer. Um, very recognizable landscape there. I, I don't remember exactly where that is, but I'm sure there's someone there that does. Here they are setting up camp, home sweet home for the night. They had everything they needed. Uh, I wish they had a picture of the camp itself, but uh, we all know what they're having for dinner, obviously. They've, they've got quite a few fish. Now, again, my grandfather was really good about staging uh, scenes. He probably said, I want you to do this and I want you to do that. Uh, but uh, he got some great movies in the process. Um, you see the, uh, the red boat here. And again, check out the cabin. You can imagine, I know it's black and white, but imagine they're painted red. I think they're getting a ship shape for the evening. Here they are enjoying the camp as the sun is getting ready to go down. And the, by the look of their clothing, I, I believe it's probably uh, sometime in the fall or in the spring. It's certainly not in the peak of summer. And again, there's that morning glass that uh, you'll see almost uh, each day on the river. And one last uh, setup shot here by my grandfather who left him on shore to get a shot of him cruising past. Uh, that thing really is pushing a little water out, not much of a planing hole. And one last shot of him fishing. Looks like a lot of fun. All right, thanks for watching. Aloha.